Kremer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. U.S. automotive manufacturer Tesla South African partner Rubicon Group brought the first Tesla Model X Performance Additional all-electric sports utility vehicle into the country to raise renewable energy's profile in the country. Simone Litka, who saw a demonstration of the vehicle, tells us more. In a move which Rubicon believes to be indicative that the combination of a high-performance car and highly efficient green building is powering greater awareness of positive ecological change, the company brought the very first Tesla vehicle to South African shores earlier this year. This, Rubicon Group's Director of Energy and E-Mobility, Greg Blanford said, was to raise renewable energy's profile in the country. He provided more insights into the company's renewable energy footprint and its partnership with GrowthPoint. So supplying to the big OEMs uh, on the industrial automation space, uh, high-tech equipment, so not your day-to-day run-of-the-mill type of electrical products, but uh, high technology products. And about just over a decade ago, we got involved with the solar industry, um, and we supply uh, large amounts of solar equipment into the country and to EPCs, etc. So just getting to our relationship with GrowthPoint, um, engaged with GrowthPoint in 2015, the solar program, and uh, met with uh, Van van Anfrapen at that time. And um, the rest is history. You guys have firstly done an amazing, amazing job as a, a property group. One of the pioneers within the solar industry in the renewable energy um, market in South Africa. So really, really to Estine, uh, to, to your team, very well done, Graham, Daniel, very well done. Um, and, and what we can see is uh, there's definitely a convergence of technologies over the next couple of years. So we're seeing the solar industry progress into battery energy storage systems and now with electric vehicles uh, at the forefront uh, coming into the country. So these are obviously, uh, there are a number of challenges going forward, um, but these are challenges that we're ready to take on. And again, uh, GrowthPoint has done an amazing uh, job there in, in getting these initiatives done. Um, so very well done to you. Blanford also elaborated on why the company brought the first ever Tesla vehicle to South Africa. One of the questions that we get asked on a regular basis about this vehicle is, why did we bring it into South Africa? And there's three reasons particularly. So number one is for marketing around the Tesla brand, um, around the vehicle, and then also for the energy products. So we're Tesla's partner for South Africa on the Tesla Powerwall and the Megapack and Powerpack products. So that was uh, initiative number one. Number two is also to lobby government. Um, as far as e-mobility is concerned, and also to create awareness around e-mobility. I think South Africa is in a little bit of a bubble compared to the rest of the world. I think that, um, you know, if you travel to the US or to Europe, you'll see a lot more EVs on the road. Um, and this car, because of its branding, creates a lot of awareness around e-mobility. Um, and thirdly, was really to, to engage with politicians and, and say, well, you know, this is, this is the technology that's coming. You know, what are we going to do? How do we, how do we get things done? How do we facilitate this new technology adoption in South Africa? Rubicon Group and GrowthPoint Properties have joined forces to highlight the environmental advantages of making use of renewable energy to provide some of the power requirements of buildings, such as GrowthPoint's 144 Oxford in Rosebank, north of the Johannesburg Central Business District. Simone Litka, who visited the building, tells us more. By providing environment-friendly features at buildings in its portfolio, GrowthPoint Sustainability and Utilities Head Graham Crookshanks said that it allows the company to future-proof its buildings and meet the mounting demand for green buildings in South Africa. GrowthPoint's 144 on Oxford is a good example of this, and Crookshanks tells us more. This building is a five-star rated Green Star building, which is an independently verified certification system that that clearly indicates it's, uh, it's a green building and uh, that means that there's a range of really diverse um, factors that were taken into account when the building was designed, constructed and uh, now that it's fully tenanted as well. There's a 180 kilowatt peak uh, solar PV system on the roof of the building. It supplies approximately 20% of the building's total energy load. Um, 
and uh, it was installed on top of a structural insulated panel system roof which is a lightweight uh, roofing system and required a, a specific um, support system in order to attach it to the building. Um, the inverters convert the solar energy into AC um, energy supply which we're able to use throughout the building. US automotive manufacturer Tesla's South African partner Rubicon Group and Growth Point Properties have further also joined forces to raise renewable energy's profile in the country by bringing the first Tesla Model X Performance Edition all-electric sports utility vehicle into the country. Cruikshanks also acknowledged that EVs were very much a part of the future transport scenario in South Africa and the rest of the world and therefore elaborated on some of the Rosebank building's features for EVs. At Growth Point we recognise that electric vehicles are very much a part of the future uh, trans of transport in South Africa and we anticipate that in many of our buildings we will have to provide electric vehicle charge points. In the case of our new buildings, what we frequently do is we ensure that the buildings are electrically reticulated to accommodate future installations of electric vehicle charge points, which is what we've done at 144 Oxford Road. So should a tenant decide that um, they would uh, want to have electric vehicle charge points, it would be a relatively straightforward and um, undisruptive exercise to install those. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Robot. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.